Now, on clue three, part two, we're going to make cables. We're going to make four cables and we're going to sew them on to the two ends of each of your rectangles. Now, in case you've never made a cable, it essentially takes your stitch and braids it, which makes a lovely effect for your trim. In order to do a cable, you need a cable needle, which is essentially a double pointed needle, which as you see here, exhibit A. I'm just gonna br briefly show you how to do that. This is a very simple, uh, a, a very simple cable. I have 12 stitches on the needle, and I usually knit five to 10 stitches before I start the cable, but in this case, I'm gonna do it a little earlier. I just wanna show you how it works. So take your cable needle, and slip it on to slip six, sorry, four stitches from your left hand needle onto your cable needle. Now what I usually do here is I jab the cable needle into the fabric while I'm doing the rest of the stitches. Then you pick up your second regular needle and you just knit the rest of those stitches. So you're knitting two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you pull the cable needle out of where you stabbed it, and then shove your stitches down to the end and knit those cables, those ones that you have resting on your cable stitch. So it's, these are four stitches, so you're gonna knit four off the cable needle. And what this does is it twists your knitted fabric around. Now, you, if you do it every five stitches, you're gonna have this nice, tight, little braided effect. And if you go for a longer time between each of your cables, then you're gonna have a elongated one. So this is really a matter of preference, whatever you prefer to do. This one makes a very dramatic um, 